Hi everyone. My name is Holly Lepper and I am the Administrative Assistant in the Center for Career Services. I just wanted to take a few minutes to walk you through a few steps on how to complete your Handshake profile. Before I begin, I just want to note that there are a few additional steps prior to what I'm about to show you. I'm working off an already completed account, so there are a few things you'll have to complete before your account le looks like this. Let's begin. The first thing I'm going to do is click on this little picture icon here in the top right corner, and then I'm going to click on my profile. Once you have set up your account, this is what your profile will look like. And this is a 100% completed profile, and you can tell that right here where it says 100% complete and the blue bar is full. The more stuff you add to your profile, the more full your bar will be and your numbers, your numbers will increase as 50%, 85%, 100%, and so on. The first thing that you are gonna do when setting up your profile is fill out the My Journey section. Here is just a sentence or two about something that you might be passionate about or what you want to do in your career. For example, Career Services has that they are passionate about helping students succeed in the job search process. Filling this section out is going to help an employer get to know you a little bit more and the things that you want to do and the goals that you have through your time as a student and then professionally. The next section that you are going to do is fill out your education section. You're all Marymount students, so you're going to want to put that you are attending Marymount University, and you can do so by clicking this little pencil right here. You'll fill out your school name, what education level you are, so if you're in an associate's program, bachelor's, bachelor's master's degree, so on what college you are, so you know if you are in the School of Design, Arts and Humanities or Business and Technology, that's where this information would go. And then you're gonna fill out the dates that you start and you ended your time at Marymount. So if you're an incoming freshman, you would put August 2020, and then your end date would be May 2024. And you just select that by filling out the drop downs. You'll select your major and a minor if you have one. And it's okay if you don't have a GPA right now. As you continue as a student, you'll have a GPA and you'll just want to update Handshake with that information. If you're a transfer student and you've come from a different school, you can also add that school to your Handshake profile and you would just do that by clicking Add School. The next section you're going to want to fill out is your work and volunteer experience. You're young and you might not have a lot of work and volunteer experience and that is totally fine, but any experience you have will help your profile completion percentage go up. This doesn't have to be a job, it could be a volunteer experience. If you volunteered with the Girl Scouts or the Boy Scouts, something like that, this is the section that you would add it to and you would do so by clicking the pencil. For example, we have a job listed as a front desk receptionist at Marymount University. This student started in September of 2018 and they are a current student, so there's no end date. You'll fill out the location and then you'll wanna give a brief description of the position that you hold. In your description, you just need a couple sentences or a couple of bullets describing the tasks that you did at that job. By doing so, this is going to help employers want to recruit you and see that you're a good fit for the opportunities that they might have at their organization. Next, we're going to go over here to your interest. This is only going to be visible to employers and you don't necessarily have to do this right away, but I would suggest filling it out as you learn what you want to do or as you consider searching for jobs. You'll just answer if you're currently looking for a job, what kind of job interests, so if you're looking for full-time, part-time internships, what cities you would prefer, so if you want to stay in the DC area or you want a job back home where you're from, what kind of positions or roles that interest you. 
So you want to be a human resources assistant or an IT manager, stuff like that. And then what industry inter interests you? So if it's retail or IT or business related, that's where that information would go. The next section you are gonna do is organization and extracurriculars. Again, you might not have a lot of organization or extracurriculars right now if you're just starting out in college. So I would put any kind of organization or extracurricular activity you've done. Maybe you were on the high school swim team or you were the president of an organization. This is exactly where you can put that information. As you continue at Marymount, I would update this as you go. Maybe you'll be on a new sports team or you'll be involved in more clubs and this will help employers see what activities you're involved in and things like that. And you can update this section again by clicking this pencil and adding the information. So the position that you had, the student was an orientation leader that was for the new student orientation department and they were just an orientation leader for the month of August. They, you don't have to put the location because it doesn't have an asterisk here, but a location if you would like, and then a couple of bullets describing what you did for that organization. The next section is courses, and this is something that you might not have information for, again, if you're just starting out at Marymount, but as you continue and you take your first set of classes, this is where you're going to add the classes that you've had. So for your first semester, maybe you took psychology, sociology, and English. You would add those courses here, and this is going to show employers the different courses that you've had and what kind of things that you're learning that might be relevant to their organization. And next, you are going to go to skills and add any soft skills that you think that you might have. Maybe you're a strong communicator, you have good leadership skills, you're good at PowerPoint, stuff like that. You'll just type it in. Let me say customer. This. We're going to add customer service. And it's really simple. Um, you can put as many as you would like there, and as you continue through school, you're going to continue to develop more skills, and I would just add them throughout the time. Later on in your time at Marymount, you might do a senior thesis or a capstone project, and that's where you would want to add this. So you would just type the name of your project. A position if it was a position, but some of it might just be research for your class. If your project has a URL that employers could visit, like it was, you know, a website design or anything like that. How long you worked on the project and then a description of it. For example, I recently completed a training and development plan for my master's degree. This is where I would put that information. And that is it for the different parts of building your Handshake profile. Again, I'm gonna go up here. Once you complete all of those sections, it'll show that your profile is 100% complete. And it's gonna make you more appealing to employers because they're gonna be able to learn more about you. If you guys have any questions, please feel free to reach out to the Center for Career Services. We would love to hear from you and we would love to help you.